Well, her 18-year-old daughter Jenna moved out here to Hollywood. I miss you. My mom was a mess. Okay, I hope to hear from you soon. Jenna's pursuing that dream that so many have moved here with. Become an actress and become a star. Jenna's on the tram tour at Universal, and today's the day that we're going to let her know she's getting her first big break in Hollywood. I want to be an actress. If you are in just such a bad mood or having a horrible day, I want to make you smile. I want to make you happy. I would do it for free. I love it so much. Lots and lots of people come to Hollywood looking for a break. But Jenna deserves one because of all the pain and hardship she's had to overcome. She's had severe scoliosis where her back was curved like a backwards S. As a kid, she couldn't do all the activities the rest of the kids could do. She's had rods in her back to keep her back straight. I was probably the worst cheerleader in history of cheerleading. Couldn't really do the jump, so I could clap a lot and do the cheers, really. But her mom says she's handled all the adversity with a great attitude, and now she's taking her dream shot. Now, before there was a wave of those home improvement shows, there was one house that was beyond repair, a little something I call the Psycho House. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm just waiting for that one chance, that one chance to just shine and, and do what I love to do, to see if I can make it. Okay, everyone, our next stop is Western Town. And everybody keep your eyes open, because occasionally there have been some bandits roaming the street. Who is that? Wait a minute. I don't know. That's, that's our own... Is that Amy Grant and uh, Carter Osterhaus, I believe? Hey, Jenna. How you doing, girl? My name's Carter. I got a letter from your mom the other day, and she was saying that she thought you needed a little help getting your big break out here in Hollywood. So that's what Amy and I are here to do. Come on out here, girl! You made it, kid. You're in Hollywood. Good job. Okay. All right, we'll see you later. Jenna needed new headshots, so I hooked her up with Paul Gregory, who's one of the best photographers in all of L.A. Usually play the good girl, bad girl. Mostly the good girl. I met the most amazing photographer today. He did my makeup, he did my hair. It was fantastic. She's really natural in front of the camera. You make it look too easy. You look great. Awesome. Let's do it again. Beautiful. Cool. Try to give me a little bigger eyes. Oh, that's good. That's really good. We've really got three different sides of Jenna's personality, and I think they're very castable, very marketable, and she's beautiful. Thanks. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Jenna already has a part-time job, but it's hard to make ends meet. So we wanted to get Jenna an apartment right in the middle of Hollywood. Yeah, I think 18, young, hip. Actor. It has to be in a good location so she can get to all of her auditions. Safe location. Safe. A place that's central to all of her castings, and we wanted to take care of the apartment so she wouldn't have to worry about making ends meet. Oh, man. This is perfect. This looks great. Look at that big window. Look at this view out here. We wanted to keep it young and fresh and hip. Oh, big closet. Look at this. Walking closet. closet. Perfect. Okay. It's a great two-bedroom apartment that has everything Jenna could possibly want. It's got a great location. It's got a pool. It's got a fitness center. It's so beautiful. It's like living in a hotel. Should we do it? Should we get this one? Yeah, I think so. Okay. We're going to head off to Home Depot to pick up our paint, supplies, accessories, everything we need to personalize the space for Jenna. We need three at? rooms. We've got the bedroom, uh -huh. the living room, and the right. guest bedroom. Okay, so three different colors. Oh, okay. That would be nice for the guest bedroom. Give me another one. Give me another one. We'll go one yeah. gallon, one gallon, and one gallon. That looks we great. We do that? Yeah, no problem. Let's go get some plants, some lighting fixtures, and we'll come back and grab the paint. Sounds good. Hey, there's some. Ooh, plants. You like that one? Look at that. Then Oh, that's what I thought it was. So we need lamps. I like this one. For the guest bedroom, I want to keep things a little more conservative because her mother's going to come and visit and a place that's comfortable for her mom. I love these. Yeah, All right, go. let's get this and go decorate a home. I met up with Carter and he took me to meet this amazing acting coach. Gloria. Jenna, I want you to meet Miss Gloria Gifford. Gloria Gifford has worked with all the top-notch actors and actresses, so I think she'll be perfect for Jenna. And when you go into an acting class, sometimes it's good to just plunge right in. And... Hello? The exercise that we worked on was that Jenna had to improvise a scene about getting a phone call with bad news. 
We touched on a lot of emotions that I hadn't really touched into for a while. It was scary that, wow, I still have all this emotion bottled up inside. But thank goodness I have chances, like the exercises, to let them out. <laughs> This is an ideal student. She was trusting, and she was available emotionally, and, and she's not afraid of hard work. She's brave. Feel good? Yeah. After class, I got a chance to talk to Jenna, and she told me how hard it's been for her out here. For me, I think the things, like my grandparents, I had a few past this year, and I was sad about things that have happened since I've been to California. I, with a horrible casting couch experience, just last month, a producer asked me to go back to his trailer, and it wasn't a good experience at all. It was something, it was horrible. It was humiliating, and it made me almost question not even acting anymore. I kicked the guy really hard and just ran out, and I never went back to the set or anything. It's just an obstacle, and you have to just work your way around those obstacles. You can't let anything hold you back. Today when I went to Gloria's acting class, at the end, I was hit with two major surprises. I'm very proud of what you did today. Very proud. I'd like to offer you a chance to come and study with me every week for a year. Thank you so much. Yes. I heard you that just meant so much less. I'm speechless. I don't know what to say. I'm so impressed with what you've done today that I've arranged an audition for you tomorrow on the TV show Passions. So I want you to be ready. So oh go my home, God. study tonight. This doesn't happen. It doesn't work like this. I feel so lucky, so blessed. Oh.